Stand by. Action. I like you so much better now that I know you're a millionaire. <laughs> a lot of people do. Is your apartment really nice? What? I have a bunch of questions that I always want to ask rich people, but I never do because it's rude, of course. Okay. Where do you live? Central Park West. You know, like one of those huge dorming buildings? Uh, yeah. How many bedrooms? Why do you care? Five. Five? One of them we use as an office. For what? You don't even work. Well, you know, I still need Did to... Did you have an interior decorator design it? <laughs> you have a lot of issues around money. No, I don't. Shut up. <laughs> What's the color palette? I don't know. A seafoam green? Seafoam green? Yeah. I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? You mean the accents are seafoam green? No, the... The entire apartment seafoam green? Yeah, the, um... Wait. So you have like a seafoam green couch, and like a seafoam green rug. The walls are seafoam green. The lighting fixtures. I are don't green. know. Okay, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I just. I haven't been there in a couple of months. I'm subletting a place not far from my old... I don't know why I moved into the same neighborhood. It's stupid. I guess I thought it'd be easier for... Anyway, it's not. And, and I hate my new place. Nothing in its mind. And... I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. Well, I bet your new place that you hate is like 10,000 times nicer than my apartment. Money doesn't change your life as much as you think it will. That's just something rich people say to make poor people feel better. It doesn't. So you can what? Buy a nice car? Get a flat screen TV? Take a cool vacation? Those things don't fix, you know, what's in, what's in here. What's in here? Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. I bet you probably don't even buy yourself, like, new TVs or vacations or cars or anything of like that. What do you want from me? You won't even buy me a cup of coffee. I get you coffee all the time! And you always make me pay you back. Will you I? You text me the exact amount of money that I owe you, like, while you're buying it. And you're like, Will hi, I Carla. Your almond milk latte was $5.23. Exact change would be preferable, please. Will, it's very overpriced. Here. But the money does help with this. I mean... You don't have to worry about any of this shit, right? You don't even need insurance. I don't know. Wow. Wow. Does your mother have insurance? Her insurance is terrible, which is hilarious, because she's a social worker. It's like, thanks for the help, U.S. government. <laughs> We're totally fucked. I should probably kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself. Today.
as a joke. God, you do not understand my charming, irreverent, dark sense of humor at all. What do you mean you're fucked? Just that. I mean, we're not fucked. I was just being dramatic. We're just... It's just... I mean... Her insurance is great in a lot of ways. They paid for her surgery and her weak recovery here, which is awesome. But then when it comes to, like, the chemo and the radiation and the medications, it's just... it's just gonna be tougher. But don't worry, Doug. You look so worried right now. It's fine. But this is how the world works. Shit happens. You just figure it out or you don't. You know, and you just kind of know that shit happens. Life's kind of shitty and that's okay. And maybe it'll change or maybe it won't and that's okay too. And maybe not. Maybe it's not okay that it's not okay, you know? No. You don't know. You have like seven kajillion dollars. So if your mom dies, you can like buy a new one. Sorry. That was my attempt at another dark joke. Yeah. It wasn't the time. I acknowledge that. Sorry. I... You know, timing is everything. Okay. I... What is the great secret? What is the secret to great comedy? Um... I timing. Don't know. I love this scene for you, Francis. It allows you to just be. Okay. Which is nice. Because when you can do that, um, some of the habits that you like to fall into occasionally, they don't show up. Okay. And we get something that's more authentic and more just honest. It's nice. It's nice to watch. Um, I don't... I don't know your habits, Chris. I can't say this. <laughs> 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 it's a nice scene. You guys have a nice rapport, too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of nice moments in there. Uh, what did you see? I have a question. Just, I guess, what was the purpose or intent behind two exchanges? One, for you, Chris, is when you say, never mind, after what she says. I wasn't really clear on where that was coming from. And then also, the latter part, with the timing, um, what's the great thing about comedy, or what's the thing secret? Mm -hmm. I was a little unclear about, I guess, the intention behind that exchange, too. Okay. Uh, for me, the, the Nevermind was trying to... defense a little bit. Um, we were working on getting a little bit more with the visual that in the, in the physical contact because when I get into the, the money and the cars and the TVs and the rest of that stuff um, and start indicating that it's, it's about the head but I don't want to reveal that so then it goes to what's in the room um, and she goes to they hit me here to go what's what's in here and in the moment I don't want to get into that so that's what the never mind is it's try to <laughs> um, you know, it's it's uh, tied into this this moment. Uh, there's this big question about this play. Um, it's really clear, uh, in so many ways, what your arc is, um, and why you why you defend yourself from changing, because there's danger in opening up. 
Um, the same thing, really, it, 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 I find it really interesting that there's this curtain down the middle that creates this bilaterally symmetrical thing, because you two are er mirror images of one another in, in so many ways. It is not a mistake that this is staged this way, um, because she is just as afraid. She uses comedy, you use rigidity, but both of you are afraid of, of exposure. Um, and that moment is when all that kind of comes to a head is when her defense mechanism and his defense mechanism collide. It's like the I don't know moment with the, um, with the, with the seafoam green, seafoam green, seafoam green. Right. Um, what did you think of that moment? I actually did like the exchange and the pace that time. It did play. But well, I don't remember all the specifics of that one. I'm sorry, that time too. Uh, what's the color palette? Yeah, I know. I remember the scene. I was just, I kind of missed it. Because my, my big question is this. Did it earn, did it honestly earn the apology and then the apology for making her feel she had to apologize? The I don't know. And right now the I don't know is playing like Chris being comic with I don't know. Rather than her reaching... So what? So he, to make that moment work, mm -hmm. here's I, I love what you're doing, Francis. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what's missing: mm -hmm. the stand-up comic. Yeah. She's the same character as in the yeah. other scene. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and this whole green seafoam, green seafoam, mm -hmm. green seafoam. It's a riff. Mm -hmm. Just as it is before he says the one you're thinking about, mm -hmm. when she goes off on the you can just probably buy or when you're talking about you can probably just buy your buy your mom buy yourself another mom. Mm -hmm. It's one of those like larks. That, that comedians go off on. It's the reason Jeff yells at me and says, I'm not your student! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop it! You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's an honest place where I'll like say things like, well, you know, you're probably just feeling, don't analyze me! <laughs> I'm not your student! <laughs> because because we, have, we have this instinct for this. We kind of fall into it. And, it's, yeah. and comedy's a very natural thing for her. It's a defense mechanism, but it's also really brutally honest mm -hmm. in, in a certain way. And for you to get to an honest, I don't know, mm -hmm. that's delivered with a certain rage that comes from being exposed somehow for the frivolity or for the for whatever circumstance it was that landed you with a seafoam green life. <laughs> it's got to be matched with the level of sort of comic ebullience, this sort of like free-for-all that that if you're ever a comedian, everyone is your fucking subject matter. Everyone in this room is going to be picked on for hair and shoes and speech and and added, whatever it is, behavior. I mean, you know, everybody's fair game. And in this particular instance, he's fair game. So when you go off on the seafoam green thing, it's less intellectual than it is, oh yeah, I feel I feel a bit coming on. I maybe, you know, internally it's the instincts. Okay. You're, you're drawn to it like a like a, a floating body toward a, 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 a celestial body with a, a lot of mass that has a, never mind. So, um, but, uh, but you know what I mean, gravity it's, it's a gravity, so exactly, cool. you know. It's, it's, it's one of those things, it's, it's, it's almost an inevitability that you're gonna fall into the comedy. And I think, I think if, if you really start enjoying that seafoam green thing, the more he's gonna get pissed off about that, which leads to the I don't know, which okay. then leads you to the right, here I am, my comedy's getting in the way again, I don't keep it, have a good check on it, which then leads him to apologize, and all of that becomes much more sincere. The same thing happens with the moment Darius is talking about, the same thing happens with the moment you can just probably buy yourself a new mother. Mm -hmm. You've, again, you step over the line. Okay. And who used to keep you in check from stepping over the line? A mom. Mom, exactly. And so now you've had free reign to make her your biggest fan and never keep you in check. So you've lost all of your, right. you know, so your checks and balances. Right. Your mom just died, right? You're about to. About to. Yeah, I was like, well, she's about to. ten minutes. So, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the other part to yours, uh, I think it goes back to her deflecting. Because she makes the mom joke and realizes that was bad. And I settled on her. Was, there was a comment you made last time where it sounded like I'd already made the decision about the insurance and money thing and tried to make that different this time because I wanted to let her go through all the reasons that would give me a reason to make that decision. Um, and so I'm then kind of bringing that forward with the eyes, and she doesn't want that. So it's... Timing is everything. What's the secret to great comedy? I just, three 
three or four lines later, it's, you don't know me, you don't know me, don't put your pity on me, kind of shit. That makes sense. I guess it really wasn't clear to me preceding that moment that that was the intention, but I do see Can I hear your old vaudevillian voice? You can't, because I don't have one. Why not, Francis? Um, I just kind of move. What do they sound I, like? I don't know, Keith. No, I didn't, I don't know. Give me an example of it. No, I'm not going to do that. There's all plenty of YouTube stuff on there. You know, hey, Joe, who's on first? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of that, you know, like, uh, you know, I was, I, I told my wife that I had trouble walking down here. She told me that, you know, uh, there's this, we talked about, there's this sort of like all these uh, old comic stagey routines. Yeah. And it, it's an old, 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 old joke that, mm -hmm. you know, um, but. Who was on first joke? I didn't understand it for a long time. Really? Yeah. I mean, I learned it like grade school, but yeah, no. Oh, no, in grade school you wouldn't get it. Yeah, no, you? no. That's funny. Go ahead. Back Is that up. Abbott and Costello? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, and they stole it you from somebody else. Okay, so it's oh, like the my. best oh, running my. gag. What? Oh, it's great. It's a <laughs> great joke. We did it in like eighth grade drama, I think, actually. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll perhaps watch that at the Christmas party. Um, Stop it. Stop making plans when I'm not here. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you brought it up. Um, okay, so the, the what's in here... It's just overdone. Mm -hmm. It's just overdone. I think it be it can be said with a much smaller gesture. Okay. Um, it just feels a little overwrought. Like you're wanting to point a finger at it for the audience and say, "Look, here's what I mean. Here's what I mean." And it's just it's too much. Um, you can find something smaller and simpler, more just. And you're talking about what the room, the hospital, the room, mother's dying. That's a lot. Pick one thing. Pick one. You know, you know. If it's just what's in here, it could just be a look out to the room. And see, I know what he's doing, but when I say what's in here, I'm talking about the heart, because I'm thinking in his mind he's got everything from his family to his mom sure. and everything that I'm questioning. Uh, no, that side of the equation is okay. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, it's just that, that, that first one, it's just, it's, a bit, it's just a bit oversold, is what I'm saying. Um, and exactly, the cup, when you say here, same thing. I just don't know why the cup is the equivalent. What do you mean by the cup, holding the cup and saying that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that just happened when it was, the way, I, the way I look at that one, the way it was written, I jumbled over this one a whole lot when we were working on this. My decision was that I was referring to the fact that the fucking coffee in this stupid hospital is way too fucking expensive. Um, yeah. So, so what's the... The hospital's on the cup, or it's, it's indicating here... Um, it's expensive. Yeah. Right. She already has the coffee. It's not like I just came in with one, which is where I was like, well, I'm, I can't be, well, it's expensive. Here's your coffee, because she already has it. Um, so are you saying it's expensive here in the hospital, or are you saying expensive here, have mine? Here in the hospital. Is coffee expensive to someone with your money? No. That's the ellipsis. Well, it's expensive. You bullshit. <laughs> and then you try to. The, the best way you can do it is just is is play it off by saying here in the hospital it's expensive, but but it still doesn't justify it. It's still a weak argument. It's just weak 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 tea. Right. You know, by the time you get there. So I think I think if you fill the ellipsis with that, let that moment sit there. That you're you're trying to tell her that coffee is too expensive to buy somebody that you kind of have a little connection with now, and I, th I think maybe that that would work. Rather than trying to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go. Um, I heard you. I don't. Um, I don't even really. It's it's something with that line. Um, as the which is hilarious. Or does your mother have insurance? Yeah. I don't know. It's just something about that line that I'm yeah. just like. It's not quite working. Yeah, I, I can't really put it's, a finger. He says, does your mother owe, and I say, oh, her, ins her insurance is terrible, which is hilarious. What's the next line? There's a oh, her insurance is terrible, which is hilarious, because she's a social worker. It's like, thanks for the help, U.S. government. Okay, what were you saying, based on the script? I don't know, maybe, because there's a period after terrible. Which I, I don't I don't know. It's just some, I can't put my finger on what it is about that line, but because she's a comedian, like I, no. I don't know. You think it's something in comic delivery there? It was, uh, so 
But I, I mean, no. I don't. Th I don't think it's necessarily not hitting on that. I just don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Cut back to you about thirty seconds. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, 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 that's <laughs> good. <laughs> terrible, which is hilarious because she's a social worker. It's like thanks for the help, U.S. government. Hilarious, and that way meeting her insurance should be great because she did work for the government, and it is not. It's not. Because it is not paying for everything that she would need, right? Keith, government insurance is supposed to be good. What were we gonna say, Jenny? I don't think that that's what makes is that, that what part you're... funny. I think what makes that part more ironic than anything else. I mean, uh, yeah, is the fact that she's a social worker, and her social worker esque ness isn't being met by the very state that she's, by the very government that she's been spending her entire life supporting and working for. Instead of it being... So it's an, it's an irony. Right. Yeah. yeah. She's a social yeah. worker, yeah. But, yeah. Right. but now she's a social failure. Yeah. Okay, well, that way, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Also, too, what is your instinct? What do you always try to do with everything? Bring a joke to it. Right. Find something This funny. sure as hell reads like trying to find the joke in it, and there isn't one. Yeah. Is that a moment? Of, is that a moment? Right. Of sheer vulnerability through her tactic of humor. I th I think I think I think trying it's it's like trying to grab at something and it just it's there's no there's no substance to it. Because then it I go work. down further and yeah. explain what's going on. Because when you say which is hilarious, because you don't know what's coming next, and right. what comes out of your mouth just isn't, and then right. And then you just kind of go down the hole. And that's such yeah. a good line because then seeing the scene that Sherry does. She's a decent comedian. She has like this ability to sort of push buttons and do that. Mm -hmm. And yet with this, it's too close to home for it to be funny. I, uh, um, mm -hmm. Go, yeah, go, yeah, with, spit it out. With the next line saying we're totally fucked, like yeah. that, that's true. that brings that like that second dynamic to. I don't. Did we just talk? Okay. No. <laughs> well, I, I just, no, and I, th and I think if you try and play that off as a joke, it makes it safe for him to say, what do you mean you're fucked? If you end that, if you go down the hole and you end up with, so we're totally fucked, he's not going to come back and say, so what do you mean by this, this totally fucked? Mm -hmm. So I think you've got you've to try and keep trying to wring comedy out of something that's not funny. Yeah. Okay. For that to work. It's a okay. tough, that's a tough little job right there in the scene. And okay. it's new, I know. Okay. Have, hitting your third showing and just finding this. But, um, uh, and uh, let's just do it again. Did that part make sense what we were talking about last week? Yeah. He wants me to... Yeah, it does. Tr try and find the joke in it. Yeah, I know. And just let yourself discover there isn't one. Okay. Okay, Connor. Have a good night. See we'll see you on Saturday. Saturday. Uh, do you mind? Do you want us to pay the rest of mine on Saturday? It's fine. Okay. That's fine. We'll make that work. All right, Connor. Oops, sorry. Have a good night. Okay, here we go. And then we still got one more. Let's knock this out. Stepping out. Good. Action. you so much better now that I know you're a millionaire. A lot of people do. Is your apartment really nice? What? I have a bunch of questions that I always like to ask rich people, but I never do because it's rude, of course. Okay. Where do you live? It's Central Park West. And like one of those huge dorming buildings? Yeah. How many bedrooms? Why do you care? Five. Five? One of them we use as an office. For what? You don't even work. Well, you know, I still need to... Did you have an interior decorator design it? You have a lot of issues around money. No, I don't. Shut up. What's the color palette? What? I don't know. Seafoam green? Seafoam green. Yeah. I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? You mean the accents are seafoam green? No, the... The entire apartment seafoam green? Yeah, the... Wait, so you have like a seafoam green couch and a seafoam green rug? 
And the walls are seafoam green? The lighting fixture? I don't know, okay? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I haven't been there in a couple of months. I'm subletting the place not far from my old... I don't know why I decided to stay in the same neighborhood. Stupid. I thought it'd be easier for... Anyway, it's not, so... And I hate my new place! Nothing in it's mine! I... I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. Well, I bet your new place that you hate is like 10,000 times nicer than my apartment. Money doesn't change your life as much as you think it will. That's just something rich people say to make poor people feel better. It doesn't. So you can what? Buy a nice car? Get a flat screen TV? Take a cool vacation? Those things don't fix... You know, what's in here. What's in there? Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. And you probably don't even buy yourself, like, new TVs or vacations or cars or anything, I bet. What do you want from me? You won't even buy me a cup of coffee. I get you coffee you all the time. Make me pay, and you always make me pay well, you back. You text me the exact amount of money that I owe you, like, while you're buying it. And you're like, thanks for the, uh, thanks, uh, and you're like, shh. And you're like, um, hi, Carla, your almond milk latte was $5.23. Exact change would be preferable, please. Well, it's very overpriced. Here. But the money does help with this. I mean, you don't have to worry about any of this shit, right? Like, you don't even need insurance. Does your mother have insurance? Oh, her insurance is terrible, which is hilarious, because she's a social worker. It's like, thanks for the help, U.S. government. <laughs> We're totally fucked. I should probably just kill myself. That's a joke. I'm not going to kill myself. Today. That's a joke, too. God. You do not understand my charming, irreverent, dark sense of humor at all. What do you mean, you're fucked? Just that. I mean, we're not fucked. I was just being dramatic. We're just... It's just... I mean, her insurance is great in a lot of ways. They paid for her surgery and her weak recovery here, which is awesome. But then when it comes to, like, the radiation, and the chemo, and the medications, it's just, it's just going to be tough. But don't worry, Don. You look so worried. It's fine. This is how the world works. Shit happens. Just figure it out or you don't. Just understand that life is kind of shitty and that's okay. And maybe it'll change or maybe it won't and that's okay too. And maybe it's not. Maybe it's not okay that it's not okay. You know? No. You have like seven kajillion dollars. If your mom does, you can like buy yourself a new one. Sorry. That was my attempt at another dark joke, and yeah, timing, it wasn't the right timing, and uh, I acknowledge that. I'm sorry. I... Uh... Timing is everything. Okay. 
What's right. the secret to great comedy? I don't know. Timing. Cut. Okay. All right, good. Good, good, I good. couldn't get any of that shit in there, Keith. Uh, what? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, you can't say I'm going to kill myself with eye contact. You can't. Did I do this? Yes, you did. You did it. This showing and the way, the way you just did it. And what it does is, it, it, you can't. It doesn't. It, you can't sell the joke then. You've got to come back to him because you. So it's, it's like, um. I sat on a prickly pear cactus today. I got spines all on my butt. Not really, but it feels that way. You know, it's, it's a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit like you can't look at him when you deliver okay. the joke, because then you got to look at him for the reaction and okay. say, "I'm just kidding." So you know what I mean. Okay. So if you if you look at him and say, "I got spines all in my butt," I mean, it's just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are gonna go, "Oh, well, can I help you get those out?" So you know. So so I think I think you, you can't look at him on that, and you got to come back to him with a not really. Okay. What? Yes. Yes. Um, and and <laughs> really hurt though. Yeah. And if you're gonna and if you're gonna say the thing, you can probably buy your mom buy yourself another one. Give me this gajillion dollars line. Um, no, you don't. You have like seven gajillion dollars. If your mom dies, you can like buy yourself a new one. You gotta sell it for the punchline. Mm -hmm. You gotta earn the laugh. Okay. That's her job. That's what she does. Make the joke. Make him laugh. Make him laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With that line. That's your instinct. That's what she does. Okay. Okay. Go at it. With yep. That. Go. Okay. Now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course you don't. You have like seven kajillion dollars. If your mom dies, you can like buy yourself a new one. Sorry. That was my attempt at another dark joke. I think that works so much better. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, that's that's the energy. And even when you're saying, and when it does, it doesn't. When it doesn't, it doesn't. So even if it doesn't, it doesn't do it. So it does. Yeah. Okay. That that whole exchange where where you've got that, and you don't have to deliver it that way. But but for for it, for it to be so completely introspective, there may be another choice there. Okay. Where it's like, because look look at the wordplay. It's just like you know. Yeah. It it feels like one of those. Yeah. So, I mean, I think there's room to play with that. Overall, um, I, I think you guys are in a good place. Um, I, I love the vulnerability that, that, that you've both found moments in this. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you've done some really good, good work with it, both of you. Both of you. Both of you. Hey, Keith. Yes? That yeah. moment of never mind, okay? The way that, that um, Francis delivers that okay the first one, I don't understand what makes him prompt again to say never mind no no uh, I, 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 here, I want you let's do this moment real quick because I want to fix this okay um, so it's the, what, are the, what are the lines preceding it I just gave it to Shauna I don't know uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay uh, <laughs> what it's never mind oh, yeah. the car the new TV the right things oh yeah 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 what's in here and um yeah and you probably don't even buy yourself new TVs vacations or cars or anything like that no. Before that, no, right over it. Is it before that? Or? Yeah. It doesn't. So. Yeah, so. so yeah, it doesn't change your life as much as you think it will. Mm -hmm. It's just something rich people say that it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you can, what, buy So just take it from there. Screen. Okay. Take it from it doesn't change your life. Money doesn't change your life as much as you think it will. That's just something rich people say to D is, people. Is he right? Is or is that right? bullshit? That's bullshit. Check in with him. Okay. See, if he, see if he gets what, he, that, what he's saying is bullshit. Okay. Okay. Try it again? Money doesn't change your life as much as you think it will. That's just something rich people say to make poor people feel better. It doesn't. So you can what? Buy a nice car? Get a flat screen TV? Take a cool vacation? Those things don't fix, you know, what's in, what's in here. Look the other way. Drink in the room. It's all, all around you. It's this. What's in here? Ask him. No, ask him. Okay. What's in here? Never mind. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's why you can't turn away. For him to get to the next one, mm -hmm. you can't turn away. Gotcha. You've got to keep your attention on him. Ask him. Okay. What's in, what's in here? Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what it needs. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. good eye, because I, I saw that too. Yeah, it just okay. it absolutely okay, needed that. Um, 
Okay. Because you can't let up on him for him to get two of those out. The same way yes. just doesn't make any yes. sense at all. Okay. For his character, it just comes out over dramatic, which doesn't yeah. fit how okay. you right. okay. your choices so far. What's in here? Okay. All right. I find it fascinating that you never again say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, good, give me a hand. Let's move on. Yeah, it's a thing? Yeah, Alright, let's help them put stuff away and rearrange the 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 the, 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 the hoo-ha.